Hey everyone, welcome back. How's it going? You're playing as the White Pieces today. We're gonna play the usual opening. The London system. E4, Bishop F4. Pretty straightforward so far. <clears throat> Shout out to Chad for the London system tips. Appreciate it, appreciate it. We're playing Queen Isabella the Slayer. Okay, we're off to a good start. If we see two knights come out to this square and pawn e6, I'm going to try this queen a4 trick that Chad taught me. Okay, we don't see that. I can... Almost... <clears throat> it's not quite the pin. It would be kind of interesting to try the pin here. Basically going for knight c3. Bishop b5. Hmm. It's very unconventional because I want to be able to push up pawn c3. But this pin just seems too good. I mean, he can always block it in with the knight, which is a little bit annoying. Hmm. There's always this idea, though. Just trying to figure out where he's going with this queen, you know? I just can't figure out if he wants to go the king side or the queen side. Hmm. I'll just bring a knight out for now. This will prepare for e5. I I've never seen this move as uh from someone playing black in the London system, so. A little bit new to me. Yeah, this blocks e5. I do have this check though, which would really weaken the king side. The only problem is I just don't have a great spot for uh, the knight besides this way. Yeah, I've never seen these. The so uh, queen d6 pawn f6. Excuse, excuse me, queen d7 pawn f6 ideas. But I'm gonna try the pin. I'm sure it'll just be met with uh, the knight here. This check would be pretty nice here on h5. If only the knight wasn't in the way. I wonder if like knight d2 is actually the idea here. I mean, I'm going to get... Oh, this is really annoying. Um, No, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, because I can go bishop g3 and then knight d2 if he, if he pushes the, the pawn up to g4. I still have the really annoying check here. Fortunately for me, the dark the dark square bishop is locked in. Okay, so pinning the knight here. I'm really tempted to go bishop b5, but I know knight c6 is just going to come out. Yeah, this knight c3 was a bit unfortunate. I could always just try to kick and then retake. I think I'm going to go for the kick and recapture here. I really want to get the knight out of the way. Knight e2 seems bad because I can't go to knight f4. Oh, 
fully expecting knight c6 here. Yeah. Then we get the queen out here. Maybe just castle and take. And I want to move this knight just for getting the queen out here. <laughs> Make him lose castling rights. Something needs to get sacked. Queen side. Yeah. This f3 knight is not very good anymore. Simply because of the fact I can't push c3 and go queen b3. I almost want to just try offering the light square bishop trade here. Hmm. Man, it would have been nice to get that check off, but yeah, I just couldn't move the knight on f3. Yeah, this, this one pawn is very <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> I think I have to start rerouting the knights. This is a bit rough because it's going to pin my knight and I have not such a good way to bring it back. Hmm. Open H file, GG. You have that check. Knight b5, knight a7. Check. And I can just run away back to b5. Ah, uh, no, just kidding. He takes that. Just kidding, just kidding. I do kind of just want to get this knight out of the way and just trade some pieces off. Oh, is it my turn already? Oh, shoot. Okay, so I'm fully expecting to see uh, the bishop, or uh, excuse me, the pawn push here. And I think that would be okay because I can just recapture with the knight. Yeah, if I see pawn push, I can recapture with knight h4. I think I'm okay with that. Hmm. Only problem is the bishop is defended twice, so I can't initiate the trade here. I don't really want to get this pawn. What a confusing position. Hmm. Maybe I just bring my knight out here. 
That's such a bad spot for our knight though, h4, just to block in the pawn. Hmm. And I do have the fork on g6 next. Hmm. I'm actually just going to try it. I hear children crying in the background. It's not good. Sounds like the older one hurt the younger one. That ain't good. So I kind of want to move the knight over. I want to recapture with the knight here, simply because it's in such a bad spot where it's blocking c3. I'd almost prefer to just allow c3 to happen at this point. Yeah. Yeah, this blocks g6. That's good. Almost have a fork there. I just want to stop knight before. And I want to bring queen d3 out. Uh, I want to get queen d3. And if if I let this pawn advance, I don't really want that to happen. I think I'm okay to just break open here. I also want to consider sort of bringing the rooks out on the d-file here. I want to go to queen 3 to protect knight f5. I need to focus on getting my pieces over to the queen side because right, right now it's really not so great. C4, trade the queens off maybe. Just gonna get the rooks out, D1. Yeah, the, the, the knight here is just horribly positioned. I just wanna get him better into a better spot. Nice fork on the rooks here if I can find it. Well, that fork's not going to happen anymore. I almost want to let him take that. If I can take back on h4, uh, I could follow up with uh, g g5, going for the fork there. I kind of want to let him have that. I think his idea is to just try to push the pawn. Could offer the queen trade here too. I need to... 
I need to respect this rook on the h file, though. Part of me wants to just push a pawn up and get a rook out onto h1. Yeah, but I think getting the trading the dark square bishops off on h4 would be really good. <clears throat> Hmm. That's a bad move. Hmm. This allows... Oh, I actually like this. Hmm. I can go pressure the rook here. I'd kind of like to just get rid of this dark square bishop here. I'm gonna go for that. If he plays e4, yeah, I'll lose a dark square bishop, but I think his is more valuable here. But I'm threatening two pieces, so if he doesn't move his rook, obviously I'll go for the rook. But if he doesn't, um I'll probably just take the the dark square bishop here. I think he would have a really deadly play if he went rook h8 and just started pushing this pawn forwards. Maybe pawn f4. Is the idea so I can just get my king out to f2? Yeah. I think I'll just take this and not think about it too hard. You remove a defender from this knight on c6 here. I can go pin his knight. I think that's going to be pretty good. I'm not even going to think twice about that. This would be really sneaky. What if I... Oh, what if I just take this pawn? It's pinned. Okay, so what, hear me out. What if I took this... If he takes with the queen, I can take his rook and then the pawn. Ooh, I have some really good moves here. I can either go rook d5, but I feel like this is better. It's a bit of a trap. Removes the defender from the rook. I'm just going to try it. I think it's a little bit of a trap. I don't think I'm losing here. Decisions are going to be made here. I think that was a good... I think that was the right move. It was either rook d1, but I don't think rook d1 was that strong because the rook doesn't really have too much activity here on d5. But yeah, I feel like this is strong. It's a bit of a double attack. Nice. I'm happy with that. Hopefully I didn't just blunder mate. But I'm happy with that. This d5 up pawn is still under attack. 
really. Oh, he's protecting d5. Okay, well, I have this pawn here. Ah, he's protecting uh, the rook there. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take this very valuable pawn. Let me think about this. Can I attack the queen? No. I'm going to take the pawn. I have check here. What do I really do with it, though? Now I have d5. Where's he going to go with that, though? Oops, wrong squares. These are both protected. Ah, uh, you know what? I bet what he's setting up for is is uh, uh, knight h4. So I'm actually no, my my king is pinned. Um, shoot, I need to go protect that. Oh, I can't offer the queen trade there. I'm just going to look for the check here and just buy myself a little bit of time. But yeah, I need to protect h4. He's got two pieces on h4. I need to get my rooks out to the h file. Can't offer the trade. There's always d5, but... There is attacking the rook this way. I think he's just going to move over. And then it's going to be worse off for me. It's a very critical position. I don't want to mess up. I just know he's going to go knight h4 next. I guess maybe it's good if he goes knight h4 because I can push up. Hmm. Counter attack. What if I just unpin this way? I'm going to unpin this way. This allows my king to move. I think that's the right idea. Only downside here is, yeah, he does that. And now I believe... Um, I think my only viable move... I could offer the queen trade here. Which I, uh, yeah, that's not a free piece. I'm going to offer the queen trade. It's a free knight. This is mate. This is mate. I think I have to block in. Trade off on h3. I really want to nab this pawn here, but I also 
don't want to get checked. Like if I go to king h1, I don't want to get checked and then lose a rook. So I want to keep the rooks connected. I just want to move the king over here. Yeah, well, I mean, we can play this repetitive game all day. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I mean, how do we not draw this? Yeah, because it's just mate. Well... Yeah, queen h2 is mate, so I don't know how to prevent that. I don't really want to sack the queen. Let's think. Let's think about that. I'm still going to be up two, even if I sack the queen. So maybe it's worth it. I don't want to lose on repetition. Not much option. Yeah, I mean... I think I have to go for the queen sack here. I'm still going to be up on material. Um, like after I get this pawn, for example. Yeah, I mean, I'm still up. I have, I have the rook combo, so. Also, I do have just mate after this, uh. This knight moves. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just going to get the uh, king off of this uh, sort of deadly. Deadly area. I have a fork here. I'll be losing a pawn if I do this. Hmm. Just gonna line the rook up with the queen. I think the queen sack had to be done there. I really didn't want to just. I, I really didn't want to draw that game either. Maybe it's gonna cost me. Yeah, a bit unfortunate here. Hmm. Need to be careful for this fork here. He does win a pawn too, but I think it's a, I mean, it's a fair trade. And obviously he does, he's not going to lose his queen. His best bet is probably to go like e7 and just protect this pawn. Queen sack. I don't think I've ever won a game on the channel with a queen sack. I don't really want to lose this pawn back here. I want to keep the pawns.
could fork these pawns this way. Oh no, good thing I didn't put my rook there. Whoops. Well, whatever, we'll just start trading off, I guess. I'm going to have protection on d7 and b7 here. He does get this pawn, which I don't really want him to do. Oh, that was a pretty nice fork. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, damn it. I kind of messed that up. Yeah. Hmm. I'd rather keep the rook. I, I kind of blundered there, obviously. He's just going to take the knight here. Ah, oh, jeez. To block in. Mm. No, it loses a rook. Fine with that. He should just start scooping the pawns up. I need to start pushing mine. I'm actually happy about this. This game's going to go on for a while. You can already tell. I have the pin on the queen here if he doesn't move it. It's almost guaranteed that he's going to move his queen, but I do have the pin here next. Yeah. A free pawn. Almost have the the queen here. I 
It's going to go on for a while. <laughs> uh. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Not sure what that was about, but... <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you do you, I guess. <laughs> um, let's think here. This should be pretty obvious here, I know, but... Uh, I want to push him this way. So, I just want to push him to the left side of the board here. Yeah, there's mate. Well, yeah, GG. Um, I'm not going to do like a uh, thorough game review on this one. But I, I want to look at that one position where he had his queen and his knight here and his rook back here or whatever that was. I want to see if the queen sack was the best idea. Sorry, I'm busy, man. I'm recording, bruh. So interesting. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I, I see what's going on. So if he has h1, obviously the knight takes. And if he has, if he goes h2, I can just hop over. Yeah, okay, so that's basically a forced move, and then he doesn't have anything else to follow that up with. Okay, yeah, so I was missing that quite a bit. I failed to account for that. Yeah, in my head, I was thinking that h2 was mate, but I was forgetting that I had f1. Yeah, a little bit of a blunder there, but um, either way, I guess the queen sack made for some good entertainment. I don't think I've ever won a game with a queen sack. Not on the channel, at least. No, actually... Yeah, I've never... Yeah, I've never won with a queen sack. Not on purpose, at least. <laughs> I've made some accidental queen sacks, <laughs> but I wouldn't call them sacrifices. They're more just like blunders. Yeah, rook b7 was a mistake because I failed to realize that this was kind of a fork here and that the only defender for this rook. But yeah, he made a mistake here. Um, he, he gave up his knight. Honestly, I think he would have had a pretty good chance if he didn't give up his knight. I was really surprised here that, um, he didn't just try to take this instead. All right, 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 right. No, actually, all things considered, I think he should have went here, right? I don't know, because it still loses the knight. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, well, the biggest lesson in this game was um, sort of these three square, these four squares for the king, right? So that's really where the game was decided. Let me get back to that position. 
yeah, so here, this position was kind of make or break. So I, I failed to realize that h2, yes, it was check, but it was not mate. That was my biggest problem here. And then I could have escaped to f1 and then gone e2, and these rooks were connected, so they would have been okay. So I'll need to remember that going forward. It would have been a different story if, um, like, let's just say the rook was here. Because then, yeah, he had h2 mate. But just the fact that this king had this uh, one f1 escape square uh, was okay. But either way, it was a really fun game. Um, the queen sack was kind of fun. And also, I think the most satisfying move was this bishop uh, sack here. And going for this rook, that was really satisfying. Um, There's a bit of a double attack there. Uh, not something I find too often. So it's really satisfying to find those. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.